In this video trailer, we're going to look at even if cannabis stocks are a good investment, you've got to be prepared for some heat. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. Okay, so it might seem like the worst kind of phraseology ever, prepare for some heat with cannabis investment, but what, this is a very serious kind of topic this, is that, hey, even if you think that cannabis stocks are the right stock to buy, you think they're gonna go crazy, and they do, the point is, history has shown us that the reality is they could be down by 80, 90% or more before they even get going. So, what does that mean? That means that if you're investing in it, you've got to be prepared for that, and the timing is so, so crucial. Let's have a look at some examples. So, I've got here Amazon. We all know about Amazon, guys. Amazon started out chugging along, whatever it was, $1 and a bit, shot up to $100. Okay, so kind of 98, 99, as we know, 2000, $110. Then it rolled right over and it came back and it was trading under $6. So you're sitting there and you've bought this thing and I know it's been adjusted, etc. but you sit here and let's say you've bought this thing, even if you bought it at five bucks, right? It's rocketed up to 100. It comes all the way back to six before it chugs on, as we know, it's kind of $1,300 at the moment. So it's not even, it's not insignificant, that $100. But the point is, if you were sitting there and you bought, and imagine this was a cannabis stock, right? And, and some of the charts are very, very similar as well. If you bought that $100 thinking, you know what, I think Amazon's gonna be a trillion dollar company. I think it's gonna be worth, you know, even if you say it's gonna be worth 500 billion or 600 billion, whatever it is now, uh, trading at kind of $1,300, and you were right, and it was kind of 10, 20 years down the line, uh, and it was an investment for you, you would have to sit there as it comes from 100 all the way down to six. Now, there's two things to think about with that. One is, how, uh, be how much belief have you got that the stock is gonna then trade up and trade to what your thesis was, 500 billion, whatever it may be? Two, can you stomach that? Can you say, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick whatever you've stuck in, 20 grand, 10 grand, one grand, doesn't matter. It comes all the way down. You know, you're, it comes all the way down to almost being worthless. And yes, you may well hold it because a lot of people's thesis is, well, I've held it now, I might not, it doesn't matter. But the point is now, is that let's say you've done that. Let's say you've gone in and it's high, it's come back down, you've lost a lot of money on paper, but you're gonna stick with it. It takes multiple years. If you look at the Amazon chart here, we can see it took kind of multiple years and even then it went to back to 50, so you might well get fed up of it. There's the opportunity cost as well. Yes, in hindsight, we look back and go, yeah, whatever you bought at in the first kind of 10 years of Amazon, you're good now, but you will start doubting it. You'll start thinking if it is a cannabis stock, you'll start thinking, well, maybe it isn't gonna go up. Maybe it isn't quite the right thing. Um, and you've got that money sitting there and it takes kind of multiple years. And I'm, I'm on a, we're on a weekly chart here. I didn't break that high until we're back in 2010. So 10 years. Now, extreme example, perhaps unusual, not really. There are other charts out there as well. If we look at kind of Facebook, Facebook's slightly different. Um, Facebook, you had to sit through. If you bought an IPO and you thought Facebook's great, I think Facebook's gonna be worth a lot of money. It's gonna be trading at kind of 150, 200 bucks, which it actually went up to 220, not far. It's come off a little bit as I do this video. But let's say you're buying you know, the IPO price, if you're buying at, you know, $40, you have to sit through years of it being below your price. And you had to sit through a drawdown, let's say you bought it at $40, of halving your money, a little bit more, but halving your money before it rolls back up again. Netflix, another great example. Netflix, uh, you know, had a good run. And even if we don't take it from the beginning, if we take it from the run-up, like the, the, the kind of 2010, 2011 run-up, trading up to $40, trading back down to under $10. That's a massive amount of haircut on your investment. So if we look at this from a perspective of cannabis, guys, you could be in a great trade or a great investment. This thing could be worth a lot of money. You know, Netflix is worth kind of $300 now or $250, but it's, give or take, it's been moving quite a lot recently. But 
The point is you could be bang on the money with it. It could be a nice tuck away. You make a lot of money with it. It, does, it pays you very, very well. But if your timing is wrong, especially early on, and don't forget cannabis stocks, this is early on. There's a lot of unknowns out there. It's like legislation, the law, who's gonna come out on top? Where's the investment gonna come from? There's a lot of unknowns. It could well take a year or so of a downturn, it's absolutely hammered, it's loads of bad news, and then it kind of rises back up. So many stocks have done this. We can talk about Microsoft as well. I mean, Microsoft's been around a long, long time, but you're not so not so much, but still 60 down to 25, that's a big haircut, and then later down to 16, and you had to sit through that for a decade before it even came back. Even some smaller stocks, like this is a stock that I've been involved in um, before, uh, many, many years ago, investment purposes it was sitting there and it just got collapsed it went down to kind of under two 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 uh, two pence a share as it, it was in pence and you know it was trading at six pence eight pence and ultimately it went up and traded around 60. so it was a great kind of longer term investment they did really good things but you had to sit through a lot of haircut. Snapchat may well be in the middle of that now. It's gone from $30 down to five. Twitter, same kind of thing. Snapchat may well come back up and be at two or 300, 400, who knows? I mean, the point is, if you look at it where it is now, there's a lot of negative news around it. Uh, it's not doing so well, and that's why the stocks get battered. So if you put the cannabis in that, in that in scenario and say, well, yes, we've got this froth at the moment, everyone's excited, it's gonna make loads of money, it may well do, 10 years down the line, but the next few years might decimate it. It might be right on the floor. No one thinks it's gonna be worth anything. And then eventually it might push back up. So the point is guys, is that just be careful. If you're considering investing in cannabis stocks, be prepared for the drawdown. A lot of the best stocks out there have done that, as we've just seen there with Amazon, Facebook, etc. A lot of the very greatest investments, if you invest them 10 years ago, 15 years ago, have worked out very, very nicely. They had to sit through a substantial haircut before they got going. So if we assume, and we can't assume anything, but if we did, that cannabis stocks were gonna do the same, then we may well have to sit through a big drawdown before we get the payout. So we either go, okay, we'll accept that, or we either go, okay, I'm gonna wait for the drawdown at the potential expense of missing it. And that's a commercial decision for you to make. But if I miss it, then I might miss it. It might just roar on. It doesn't say it's definitely gonna happen, right? It might just roar on without me. But if I do that, maybe I'll wait until the news is so, so bad on it. And then I'll invest in it because I think that it might well be a kind of a repeat of the Amazon thing. So just something to think about, guys, if you're considering investing in cannabis stocks. Whatever you're doing, take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.